Hi guys, very good evening. We are going to cover another very important test route for our Cheetah Mail. This test route will be very much possible at the time of 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock. There are a few similar test routes I already uploaded but there are a few different things here so I will explain you when we go there. So we just come out from the test center and turn left towards Waterloo Road. So just come out from test center and turn left. Turn left at the lights again at the end here. So just pretend you are coming out from test center. You turn left and left again onto Waterloo Road. are coming so we need to make room for them so we are proceeding here so let me squeeze this gap to make more room for this ambulance uh, set in case if you are in driving test and uh, you see blue lights any blue lights like emergency vehicles what you need to do you need to make room for them and if you got a reasonable place to pull over better to pull over and let them go first and then you carry on. We are on a Waterloo Road at the moment. This test route is about just over 7 miles radius and can be very much possible at the time of 10, 11, 12, 1 o'clock. lights on a very new road so we're gonna go right at the lights so what we will do we'll keep our car near to center white line and we signal after this bend no point to give signal before this bend because when you steer back to normal your indicator will cancel We are on a Waterloo Road and turning right on to Bury New Road. I can hear a few more blue lights coming so we'll wait here until they go past and then we proceed. 
in this junction box if you are coming in this junction box if you are the third driver better to wait behind the traffic lights but if you are second driver you're all right to come in so traffic light in turning red so oncoming traffic will stop and we proceed before other side of the traffic start moving so we'll just not keep waiting there we will clear the junction bear in mind we will clear the junction there are so many people they fail because they don't clear the junction they keep waiting on a red light but that red light is given you four or five seconds to clear the junction before other side traffic goes green signal always check your mirrors then you signal turning left on to Great Cheatham Street West. So from these lights we're gonna turn left and the next traffic lights we turn left again. see there's a cycle lane on the road so you will not go into the cycle lane stop just before the cycle lane Cheatham Street West, we will turn left onto Great Close Street when traffic light goes green and we're gonna see another traffic light so we're gonna go right at the next traffic lights. So we are turning left from these lights and the next traffic lights we're gonna go right. I'm guiding you well in time so if you are practicing yourself so you can follow my footsteps. So you can see about 100 200 yards traffic lights we're going right so mirrors signal right go near center white line and look on the road when you are looking on the road you will see there's a very faded lines so that's your filter lane you need to go into your filter lane when traffic light goes green and you will see traffic light goes green and you're gonna have your filter light as well so when you see your filter light is green you don't need to stop you need to carry on so 
this test route is very much similar with my other test route up to here and there will be a little change coming that that will be the new variation on this test route I will explain you and this test route is very much similar with other test routes but it is good for you to practice if you know the area it is very easy for you to pass so we can see there is a queue right in front of me so what I will do start slowing down now that will be known as a eco driving examiner would not penalize me doing harsh accelerator or harsh braking so I'm gonna stop where I can see tires on the tarmac of car in front so we are on Kemp Street at the moment which is 30 miles per hour Going straight towards Salford University side. Although this is 30 miles per hour but because traffic in front of me going nice and steady so I will just keep following them by keeping two second gap. So two second gap is like two cars. One second mean one car. Two second mean two car distance. So we're gonna go next left here now. In my other test route you are going straight but here we are turning right so this is Lisadel Street so we can see traffic light right in front of us we're gonna go left onto Langley Road South This test route is very much in nowadays, so better to have a good practice on this. I'm gonna go left here, so you can see if you're going right, you will keep your car left and lane here. If you're going right, you will keep right and line. So we are turning left onto Broughton Road. So we are coming about about 300 yards from here. We are coming on a big roundabout. That is where I will fully guide you because we are taking third exit as we are going towards A6, which is 40 miles per hour. And this roundabout is quite big roundabout. So what the best policy you need to do? Keep your car near the center white line. When you see eight, nine cars before the roundabout, drop your car to second gear, signal right. And don't signal without checking mirrors so look on the right hand side on a big roundabout it's very easy to take the CN because traffic is coming from quite far distance so you can make very easy so keep your car right hand lane you will see there's a white line on your left hand side so keep that white line on your left hand side and keep your car right hand side here this is the second exit we're taking third exit checking left mirror indicator left and come back here right lane so bear in mind there are three lanes, one is bus lane, one is going A576, one is going A6, so you need to keep your car on A6. When you are on A6, you need to speed up here because this is 40 miles per hour, you may need to join other roads as well. But we will not join, rejoin the road, 
we are turning left that is why mostly learner driver they fail you can see there's a left no entry on the left hand side if somebody says take next possible left so make sure you are taking next possible left not no entry so we are taking next left here mirror signal left when you see this roundabout sign my request will be slow down to second gear as you are going very slow my my request will be like don't go more than 10 15 miles here in fact 10 miles it should be all right because you need to see the roundabout we're going straight ahead nobody coming right hand side left indicator come down if you don't understand this bit better to rewind the video and watch this two three times because this is very crucial so many learners they confuse when they come on this roundabout this roundabout is coming right after the bend so that can be very dangerous for you so we're gonna go left at the lights here and another thing to explain here when we are turning left here there will be a 24 hour operational bus lane on your left hand side keep your car right hand side and speed up better to maintain your speed because if there's nobody in front of you better to drive exactly 30 miles per hour and when you see bus lane is about to end like about after 100 yards so signal before like 100 yards before as i'm checking mirror now signal left and i'm coming back to left lane i make sure no bus there's no cyclist so I'm all right in this lane and we are approaching on a roundabout again and we're going to go left at the roundabout as we are following sign for the bury. So checking center left mirror again, seven, eight cars before drop to second gear again. Look right hand side for your opportunity. I think I got the opportunity so I'm going to turn left here. So we are back on here. First exit. That is where we took third exit early on when we are coming. So now we're going back so we're going to take first exit. So there's another roundabout coming. I uploaded one individual video of that roundabout as well. So I will fully guide you. We're gonna take third exit on that particular roundabout where we're going at the moment. So mostly when we do third exit, what we do, we do indicator right because mostly third exits are beyond 12 o'clock. But on this roundabout, because third exit is not beyond the 12 o'clock it's exactly like 12 o'clock position so we'll not give right indicator on this particular roundabout we'll just indicator before our exit i will fully guide you when we are coming there so we are on a cromwell road at the moment and going towards test center which is like two and a half miles to go We can see roundabout is coming now which is about 200 yards so slow down drop to second gear about seven eight cars before again and look right for your priority nobody coming so we got the opportunity here so first exit no indication second exit and gonna check center in the left mirror indicator left and come down make sure while coming down there's nobody on zebra crossing if somebody is on that pedestrian crossing, you need to stop for him. Don't panic that you are stopping on a roundabout. You have to stop if there's a pedestrian. So this is very crucial. If you think there is any difficulty you couldn't understand, better to rewind video and watch again. still on Cromwell Road and going back towards test center.
can see two lane going straight so I will choose left hand lane if left lane is busy you can keep your car right hand lane they make these kinds of the junctions just to reduce the burden on the road so again you can see there's a cycle box so we stop just before the cycle box or for your reference sake you can just move forward until the second white line disappears see there are two white arrows on the road you will not twist your car here you just mirrors right signal right and just swing slowly to the right hand side don't try to swing more than your need otherwise any car on your right hand side you're not giving him chance to save himself at the lines we're gonna go right right examiner can take you straight as well but mostly they will take you right so signal right give your car right hand lane left lane is just going straight at this point and right lane is going right only and there will be a bus lane I will fully guide you how you're gonna deal the bus lane if bus lane if it is written like Monday to Friday mostly bus lanes are operational 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. and then 4 o'clock then 4 p.m. then 7 p.m. So we will see what the timing is written there. Today is Sunday. Hopefully, if it is Monday to Friday, we will go straight into. And bear in mind, if you are not using bus out of its time, that can be serious in your test. Few examiners they mention you at the end if you fail, and because of this, they say because they make these timings you need to obey these timings otherwise you are burden on the road that is why so I can see it's Monday to Friday today is such a day so we are going to Sunday my apologies so going into the bus lane if your test is after 10 o'clock you have to use this tutorial videos as well as watching with these test tour videos believe me they are very helpful so we are back on Waterloo Road as we're going back to the test center which is like half a mile from here approximately taking second right at this point so we'll hold our signal we'll signal after these lights as we're going back to the test center Thank you. 
this is very nice and easy test route but you just need little practice on this if you don't know this what you know situations i dealt with like the roundabout the way roundabout came after 40 miles and then you need to drop your car to 10 15 miles at that point and that roundabout is neither big nor mini roundabout so you need to be very careful on that then 24 hour bus lane and then when you're coming back there's a bus lane again so you need to be careful of these things there's no more difficulty on this test road if you got anything to ask you can leave me feedback i will definitely answer your questions i hope you enjoy this video thank you very much for watching